So now in this video, we are going to run local GPT on our system. And if you are also facing some errors like others, we will overcome those errors in this video. But before starting, let me give you a recap of what we have seen before in our last videos. First, we installed Miniconda to our system without encountering any errors. Then, we saw how to install local GPT and overcome every error that you might face during the installation process. I will provide all the links in the description for your convenience. Here is our Pro folder where our local GPT folder is located. First, open your terminal, and one thing to note is that if you have not watched our part one video on how to install local GPT, watch it first because we need some packages or requirement installed to proceed further. Firstly, as you can see, we are inside our local GPT folder using the CD command as described in our last video. Also, our Conda environment is activated. Now we are ready to run local GPT on our system. Firstly, we use the python ingest.py command, which is used to embed the text of your system into a vector database that will be used by our model to answer queries. Here, it uses the Orca Paper PDF to import data from this document. After importing, it cuts or splits the large document into small chunks. Let me show you this Orca Paper PDF. Go to your local GPT folder, open it. Here you see a folder named Source Document. Open it. Inside this folder, you see our Orca document. Double click to open the document. You can read it if you want. This process may take some time, so be patient. Now, during this process, some of you may encounter this type of error list index out of range. This type of error occurs if your system does not have any natural language processing or NLP libraries, such as NLTK or Natural Language Toolkit. To resolve this problem, go inside the local GPT folder, scroll below, and you will see a file named ingest.py, which we are currently using. Open it with any text editor. For instance, I am using VS Code. Now, simply we're going to install NLP libraries on your system. Here you see the code. Just copy and paste this code into your code editor or write it manually. Afterwards, save this file, which is an important step. After doing all these things, run the command python ingest.py again. Now, as you can see, it is not showing any type of error. If you're wondering what pun kt is or what it does, the pun kt module provides tools for sentence tokenization, which involves breaking down a text into individual sentences. It involves splitting a text into smaller units, such as words or sentences, to facilitate further analysis. Now, heads towards our last command. To run local GPT, we use python run slash local GPT dot py, then hit enter. As you can see, our model is start installing. It will take some time to install. And there is one important thing to note, that our LLM model are quantized models. The format of these models are GGUF and GGML. It uses Llama CPP to run those format models. Now, some of us may encounter with this type of error. As I said earlier, it uses Llama CPP to run this model. If your system do not have Llama CPP installed, it will throw you this error. So, to install Llama CPP to our system, we just require two commands. First command is set C make slash ARGS equals to D Llama. Do not worry, I will provide all the commands in description. Run this command. Now use pip install Llama CPP to install this. It will install all the required dependency libraries. After it is done, again type the command to run local GPT. It will take some time. And now we have successfully overcome this error. It uses the Llama architecture. The model type is 7 billion parameters. The model size is 6.74 billion. And the model name is Llama 2. So here you see Blas is equal to zero, which means it is currently running on CPU. Below we have our prompt area where we can write our query. For example, I write, 
what is the ORCA model in the paper? And above, you can see that it uses almost 80 to 90% of my CPU. After some time, it gives the answer to your query. So this is the second part. In the third part, I will show you how to configure local GPT. This means how to change the model. Currently, it is running on Llama, but there are many models that are way faster than Llama. Also, I'll show you how to upload documents and delete them. Hope you will like this video and unlock the future with us. Subscribe for more cutting-edge tech insights.